and welcome back to Dust and Lysian Tale. Last time we left off, we ended up getting to Archer's Pass, we ended up finding the blacksmith, got some materials, got a few things. We also did the quest for Gianni to get his laundry. I also showed two different outcomes you could do depending on, you know, which part of the quest you did. Now, in this episode, we are going back to Abydos Forest. Because first, we need to go to Denim Village to find out why the monsters have been attacking. Well, actually, we know what's going on. The uh, monsters have a leader, and now uh, we have to find a way to stop them. Also, we have to go to Denim Village so we can find a girl for Mosca, rather a girl that he's been friend that he's kind of been close with, and he wants to know what happened to her because there hasn't been word from it. Also, there's a receiver that is in Abydos Forest that we need to get. So we're taking care of three things here. Anyway, I should probably mention that uh, I've been having a few internet problems, so bear with me on the fact that I may end up getting the stream disconnected from it. So, my apologies in case of this happens. Alright, what you guys saw there were some flying enemies. You probably have already seen these guys before. They aren't really too much of a problem. So yeah, I think you're all probably wondering where I've been. It's the fact that I've been playing Destiny the Taken King a lot, and it's just been eating, like, all the time I had. Ever since it came out, it's, like, been adding new stuff more and more. And, well, first off, I got the Sleeper Stimulant, so there's that. Oh, let's see, there's the Merchant here. Yeah, there's nothing really much to do, I mean. Ooh, Beast Spear! Okay. If I remember correctly, this is oh the camp. I'm guessing by the wreckage that no one survived it. A shame. A real shame. But yeah. I've been playing a lot of Destiny the Taken King lately, and, well, recently I got the Sleeper Stimulant, so there's that. I was also able to destroy Crota with it in the raid, although it kind of took like two, three, two, three tries because of the fact that uh, a friend of ours was joined with us, and he never did the Crota raid. And again, neither did we, but we had our, fr our friend Vlad help us out. I wanted to record it so that way I could, you know, show that we did it. Oh man. Slime mail. Sweet. It's just a blueprint for it, but there you are. Alright, selling some more. Selling this time. Still don't have enough. Sell. So. In case if anyone's wondering, I actually did, I actually redid the first part of my adventure because of the fact that, uh, well, I never archived the footage for it, so I was just kind of like, oh crap, I forgot to archive the footage for this when I started it. I fixed that, and ever since the 3.0 update for the PS4, I was able to, you know, upload this. I have a YouTube as well, so just look me up on YouTube if you ever want to see this. Alright? I know I'm a small timer, you small time YouTuber, but I want to eventually become, you know, famous like Jesse Cox, Markiplier, all that stuff. Okay, where do I go with this? 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 Damn it! Yeah. Speaking of those guys, 
Uh, even though I don't really fave much of the videos because I usually watch them on my PS Vita, I generally watch people like Markiplier, Jesse Cox, Total Biscuit, Polaris, Angry Joe, recently Jimquisition, and a bunch of other famous YouTubers. Bringer of Death. What was this one? Hang on, let me see, let me see. Oh, kill 500 enemies. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, I wanted to know what that achievement was. Hope you don't mind. Okay. Where do I go with this one again? Okay, I can just do that. Okay. Judging by the amount of bomb fruits here, I think I got. Well, what the? Uh, chat, if you would love to give me some advice, it's been like a long time since I played this game, so I'm kinda. I'm kind of trying to figure this out, too. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I need to get the slide ability, but I don't have that yet. But... Yeah, I have a YouTube, barely used it, only activated it recently when I actually started, you know... Started uploading this onto it, so... Yeah. I'm still just a small time of YouTuber. Check me out. You can probably find my Let's Plays somewhere. They're not really all that, you know, well known yet, but I'm gonna try. It's mostly so I can, you know, eventually become a famous YouTuber like, well, Markiplier and stuff. What's the matter? Afraid of the dark? I laugh at the dark. Actually, I'm afraid of heights. Wait, heights? How is that possible? You fly all the time, everywhere. Oh, do I? I must have forgotten. Just like you must have forgotten that I can still fall at any time. Never looked at it that way. You're an interesting one, Fidget. <laughs> so, that's funny. She can fly, but she's afraid of heights? I'm not even going to understand how it's possible. I mean, it can any of you guys? I don't know, I'm just, I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. I mean, being afraid of heights, but also being able to fly, that's gotta be like the worst thing ever. Especially if you're like a dragon or something, because depending on what type of dragon you are, you're either... Well, you can either fly, or you can just, you know, swim or something. I, I don't know, I mean, it's both interesting and kind of confusing. Oh man, this part, this part I hate. Can I kill them? I'm pretty sure you can get to... No, you need to get the slide ability. I am e God dang it. Definitely still in this slime coat. Your transaction is most appreciated. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, sorry about well you know, me basically being a bit less talkative. First off my uh shoulders and neck are a little stiff. I guess it's because of the way I angle when I sleep. Plus, my family's kind of been getting sick lately, so... Uh, yeah, there's that. I gotta figure out how the heck I gotta get up to the end of the village again. It's been a while since I played this game. Okay, so parrying is your best friend. That's good. Oh, 
On the plus side, if you need to find out where you can get slimy coats and stuff, well, this is the place. There's a ton of slimes that you need to murder. Oh man. That reminds me of Dragon Quest. I was gonna say Dragon Age, but... For those of you guys who have never played a Dragon Quest game, uh, the most unique one? And, I'm gonna be blunt, I actually liked it. I never got past the one part with the giant squid, though. Anyone who's played it knows what I'm talking about, but... Well, that game was pretty fun. It was fun, addicting, it had a nice soundtrack, the character voices were pretty good too, and... The art direction, it... The characters reminded me of... Wait... When I remember playing that game... I thought to myself, hang on, why does this look familiar? These characters, they're like... And then I looked up and found out it was made by the guy who made Dragon Ball Z. So I knew for a fact it would become an instant favorite of mine. But yeah, never got far into the game, never completed it, but I was excited when they announced that there was going to be a 3DS remake of the game. So, yeah. Will I eventually get it? Probably. I have a feeling they may port it to the PS4 one day. I just have this gut feeling. More of these raptor things, flying dinosaurs, I don't care. Do I have this thing turned on? Uh, I'll check later. But, yeah. Getting distracted. My folks have been getting sick, and last night I felt I had like a sore throat kind of going on. So, I just realized, I kind of thought, oh great. Okay, blue res resonance gem. No uh, uh, ring. Ooh, have a lot. I'd recommend taking your time to level up as level up when you guys can. <sighs> Dang it. <coughs> yeah. Remember when I told you guys that I was kind of uh sick? There explains my madness. My father got sick, then my mom got sick, now I'm getting sick. Shipping shall continue. Yeah, I know. I'm. I guess it would be better than Haley Dust Shipper. I don't know. But I'm good. Yes. Uh. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm okay. Sorry. Ma asked if I wanted to split some Chinese food with her. We had Chinese last night. Yes. Well, technically it was our lunch and our dinner at the same time, so... Yeah. Anyway. Uh, this is one of the reasons why we had to go ahead and get the blacksmith. Now... We can easily buy the materials from her. You can craft the materials from her, buy some of the materials, 
Uh... Yeah, there's a bit of a problem. You're gonna end up having to pay a lot more if you want to go ahead and uh, purchase some of these from the receiver. Or, I'm pretty sure they were all the same price? I can't remember. But, you can't sell her any of the materials. You can sell to the merchant, but you can't sell any materials, but you have to go to her for the do that. And another giant. Yeah, those three giants that we fought as bosses, I'm... Yeah, you're gonna have to face up against these guys a lot more. As sub bosses. Very powerful enemies, you know? And that's like one of the things. You face up against a boss that you think you're gonna go ahead and be able to kick, and then all of a sudden you find out that they relegated him to a mini. to like. Uber Moose. Challenge Pendant Blueprint. Mm. Well, on the plus side, we have access to the Russian right now. We must be getting close. How can you tell? Look. Oh, shite. We may still be able to save the others. Let's hurry. Oh, crap. The monsters really are doing damage to this town. That poor villager. I am so sorry, sir. Or... Madam. Pretty sure you're a sir. Sorry for getting like sidetracked. Track a whole lot. I tend to do that whenever I stream or talk. It's a bit different with my friends because generally we you know, go ahead and uh, talk about lots of stuff. The cliff. The world can barely be made out, but it seems to say, travel far to the north, away from this place, to the highest peaks of the Blackmore Mountains, await the soul carrying a red crystal. What? Well, I guess when we go to the Blackmore Mountains, we'll understand. Now. Let's sell some stuff to this guy. Four defense plus one luck. <laughs> but yeah, demon blacksmith. Okay, I'll admit. That was funny. Yeah, when I played this game, uh, I had no idea about the whole, uh, you know, material thing. Oh crap. Ow. I had no idea about the how to get all the materials, so I ended up getting, uh... I had, no, I had to, like, farm for all the materials when I found out I could easily, you know, just go ahead and, uh, get them. By just putting them in the black the merchant, and he would eventually get me more. I did not realize that. So, yeah, I kind of goofed. Uh, no one's watching the stream. Go figure. Still just a small timer yet. Eventually I'll make big. I want to become famous one day. But I'll have to deal with all the, in the fame and infamy. Plus people going into my personal life when I don't want them to. Ah, uh, the curse of being famous. I suppose. Okay. If I remember correctly, there should be a... I made it! What? I am one key missing! Dang it! Well, it looks like we're gonna have to come back here when I get all the keys. Die, bug! I don't understand why they give you bomb fruit. I could just murder these guys in like 10 seconds. It's sad. We'll come back to get that chest later. Huh. Looks like we're reaching the village. Uh oh. This was done recently. We 
don't have time to wait for it to die out. There's got to be another way around. Holy crap. Just... D damn! What the heck could have done this? We gotta stop this guy. Oh, now I see why I needed the bomb flutes. Dang it. But yeah, I found out that that mysterious wall chicken that you get from destroying these glowing walls, these walls, apparently this is a Castlevania reference. I did not know that until I saw the Quarter Guy's Castlevania video. We've lost 10 guards to this monster already. He's bombarding us with those green flames. They almost seem to have a mind of their own. But then a sudden gust of wind blasted through the village and the flames disappeared. Stopped the creature's attack before a moment. For but a moment. Enough for me to escape. If only we can harness the power of a storm. Yeah, I already know what we gotta do. Key, key. That did it. I can hear the water rushing below. You're not very subtle. The fact wasn't half bad. I did not do it just to get the water. I did it to get the loot. But we managed to get passage done. Okay. We gotta find out who's behind all this. We gotta find out who it is and stop him. Before we do that, we gotta find this safe. A small increase in health is always a smart thing. Make it, make it. Whew! That was close. Sorry, answering messages. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's the girl from Super Meat Boy. Ironically enough, I also bought that game. It's free for PlayStation Plus this month in October. Also Broken Age. A part of me really wish I had gotten a PS4 sooner. I would have been able to have gotten Transistor. And this game for free, but it was free for PlayStation Plus for that month. I love Transistor. Never really played it, but I played Bastion, so I kind of know what to expect. Also, Guacamelee. Well, let's hope that next month's game of the month for games of the month for PlayStation Plus. I hope one of them is uh, Grim Fandango Remastered. I have it on Steam, but I feel like I want to, you know, get it on PlayStation 4, so that way I can go play it. Plus, I love free games. Last night I downloaded the uh, Tales from the Borderlands Episode 1. I haven't played it yet, but... Oh, crap. When you learn how to parry these guys, they just become way too easy to kill. Especially when you get higher level. It's just a slaughter. But yeah, uh, Tales from the Borderlands Episode 1 is free now. The final episode is going to be on the 20th of October. So, yay. We need to get the climb ability. But yeah, those watching on my Twitch, uh, you should pro you'll probably realize that most of my dust, my dust videos and most of the other videos I got are gone. Yeah, it's got, I'm not really a Turbo member, I'm just, you know, uh, Denim Village. 
Wow, that's a lot of health. Yeah, depending on your difficulty, you get filled up halfway. Let me, uh, just eat. Oh, cool. Sorry about this, I'm just, you know, making sure that I don't die. I think this guy, I think I died to this part. Huh, merchant. Ah, hello again, my friend. Yeah, yeah, we know he's supposed to return. Okay. Whoa. Uh, I really don't like the look of this. We've made it this far, Fidget. Stay close to me and you'll be fine. What do you see, Yara? Anything? Another enemy stands before you. But this one. What is it, Ara? Such. Careful, Dust. Hatred like burning flames. Oh my god. What the? So, you've come. What have you done? You murdered all these innocent people. You dare speak to me of innocence when you have so casually slain a countless number of my children. Your children? You're talking about those monsters back there? Who are you? So, you don't remember my name. Rest assured, my friend. This time, you will not so easily forget it. Oh, crap. I don't care what your name is. You're no different than those monsters I fought before. And like them, you will fall to my blade. You are the only monster here, puppet. As I turn your bones to char, your final thought will be that Fuse was victorious. Now die! Alright, boss battle. Fuse. This guy, watch out for his fire attacks. Dust Storm actually can help out a lot here, but... Damn. Yeah, watch out for those attacks. Defused. Heh, <laughs> horrible pun. Whoa, what the hell? Are we in Assassin's Creed? I have come to my end. What are you? Among the last of a dying breed. A once proud race. Extinguished by your hands. 
my hands. <clears throat> you and your warm blooded kin. We moon bloods were outcast, scattered to the wind. You and others like you, they came to my village, killed my family. I, I didn't. I can't remember. to come she who are you talking about who did i kill <sighs> who knows who sees my vision has left me i return now to the life thread and to my brethren no no wait farewell warm blood ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. We did it! He knew who I was, Fidget. He'd seen me before. If only he'd lived a moment longer. If only I'd managed to keep him alive somehow. As you can see by the dead littering this village, that would not have been a good idea. I'm sure you're right. We should return to Aurora and report to Mayor Bram. There was also that name, Dias. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Dust, during the battle, I was studying Fuse's attacks. I think I might have picked up on his technique. I've got a feeling we'll need it. Those monsters likely won't let us leave without a fight. Yep. This is a new projectile we got. Press the R1 trigger to cycle through fissures available projectile types. Watch. Trust me, that is going to be really, really effective. But... This is one of the reasons why I love this game so much. Fuse. Fuse was a Moonblood. In the world of Falana, there are two different races. The Moonbloods, which are a race of lizard people, and the Warmbloods. What's the problem? Children or not, they don't look all that happy to see us. Ugly! Are you gonna play nice? There's just no pleasing some people. It was a valiant effort, Fidget. Yeah, I don't think monsters want to talk. One of the intelligent to talk. But yeah. The central conflict of this game involves the warm bloods, which are basically what Dust and his species are, and the moon bloods, which are a race of lizard people. Fuse was one of those. I don't know exactly the cause of the conflict. Okay, I actually do, but I'm not going to explain it yet until later in the game. But the moon bloods are almost all but dead. And as you guys can clearly see, that obstruction we had earlier, it's gone now. So we can easily pass through here if we want to go up. But yeah. 
you're probably wondering why Fuse is wearing that armor. Reunion. Denim lies in ruins, but you've discovered a note from a girl named Sarah. This is addressed to Mosca. Return the note to him in Aurora Village. Sarah's Sarahi. Oh, Sarahi. I thought I said Sarah from this angle. My dearest Mosca, something terrible is happening here. The village is on fire. Everyone is screaming. If you ever find this letter, I will be hiding in our secret place. Please, please hurry. Well, shit, we gotta save this girl. From Mosca. Not for us. Oh, right. We can't go back, come back here yet until we, you know, get the abilities. On the plus side, it's also a useful grinding spot. But, yeah. The themes of racism in this story is apparent with the Moonbloods and the Warmbloods. It'll get explained later, but... This is one of the reasons why I like this game so much. It deals with this theme of two different species that, well, used to get along, but now they're at each other's throats, and one species is about to die. To me, this kind of speaks volumes, because, well, I'm of Spanish descent. What's all this? These flags are a warning. The area up ahead is among the most dangerous of places. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death will come swiftly if you are not prepared. I think I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored they contain precious treasures. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Oh, um, we certainly hope you save. We did save. Okay. This area right here, there are four places in this in this game. Welcome to the challenge arena. Defeat enemies and destroy lands for points. You will lose points for taking damage. Complete the challenge quickly for a score bonus. Good luck. Yeah, no. I do not want to come back here, but I guess we have no other choice now. Yeah, I'm not going to attempt those challenges yet. As much as I want to, I might do that in a bonus video. But, going back to what I said, the themes of racism, meanwhile, far to the north. God dang it, cutscenes. Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all. What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe. Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. Our moment of glory draws near, and I want results. As you wish, General. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? That was General Gaius. But something doesn't make sense. Who is he talking about? You defeated the leader of the monsters, a strange creature named Fuse. But doing so has raised more questions than answers. We'll pull back to Mayor Brahm and Aurora. Guess we got to. Before we do that... Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. Great! Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. Those hides you provided worked out great! But I'd like to reinforce their armor with materials from those hulking giants out there. If you could bring two giant rocks and two giant cores, we'd be all set. I'll pay you way more than you'd get by selling it to the shopkeeper. Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. I already got those. Great! Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. 
Those reinforcements really helped strengthen the guard's armor, but now it's a bit too rigid. I'd like to add some flexibility using a few materials you can only find on flying pink avies. Let me see. Uh, six avi wings and six avi claws to do the trick. I'll pay you for the work, of course. God damn it, Bale. Now, let's go get the materials for Fail, and then we'll go ahead and take care of Brom. I have the best... But, yeah. Avi Claws and Wings. Wait, do... This is one of the reasons why you have to sell all the materials you have. This makes quests like this all the more easier. But yeah, I know being a Latino kid, I kind of, well not kid, I'm actually 22. Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. Great. Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. I've got one last job for you, Dust. There's a strange flying creature called a Florn that lives around these parts. Can shoot balls of electricity from its tentacles. A real nasty customer. If you could gather three Florn tentacles and three Florn sparks, I can use them to reinforce our guard's armor and give their weapons a bit of an extra kick. I'll pay a premium for them that you won't get from the shops around here. Please, let me know. I'll keep much of... Okay, I thought we already had those materials. Let me go to the shopkeeper and take care of this. And believe me when I say this, doing these quests for fail, they are seriously worth it. Welcome back. You get some serious gold in early game which you can use to get resurrection stones, rival stones, keys, and lots of teleport stones. Now, where is it? Tentacles. How many of these do you need to get? Thank you for coming in. Give me a minute, I gotta check this out. Uh, find the sparklies. Three and three. I have the best selection you'll so bad we need a show. Sarah, have any of you heard that? You are <sighs> Yeah, if you had to farm for these materials, I'm sorry. If you had to buy these materials, this is something easier. Just gotta turn this into fail and... Here are those materials you asked for, fail. Great! Here's your payment. I think that's it. I have everything I need, thanks to you. Yep. Quest done. 10,000... Nearly 11,000 gold. I think we did good. Now, let's talk to the mayor. We gotta tell him something. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents. He killed. Oh no. That could only be Denham Village. Uh, did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard. Wore strange armor. Called himself... Fuse. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally. The tragedy tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, 
I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck. Shite. So that explains what happened to her. Her family was murdered because they were sympathizing with the Moonbloods. I mean, fantastic racism is a trope, but most of the time it's usually humans against non-humans. And things like X-Men and stuff have always done this. But it's really like the racist humans versus the mutants or something, or the non-humans. Not that I don't, I don't appreciate racism, especially given the fact that I'm Latino and I had to deal with this racism growing up. I still kind of do, and I haven't really gone over it, mostly. But, in this game that deals with racism between warm bloods and moon bloods, it's, I, I don't even know what to really say about it. But, this is where the story's really going to start to pick up now. However, I think it's about time we ended it off here. Next time on Dust and Elysian Tale, we're going to general guy. Yes. Why he's doing all this and hopefully learn where we where we need to go next. Till then, this is the Dragon King Mark.